Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a quick video showcasing the brand new EMUI 9.0 in beta form on our Huawei P20 Pro. This is TK, let's check it out. I have the EMUI 9.0 beta running on the P20 Pro here on the left and I'm running AMUI 8.2 on the Honor Play. Even though this is compatible with the beta and it has its own file, I didn't upgrade this so that we can do this comparison between the two. Uh, you'll notice that the icons and the shapes are pretty much the same. They didn't really change much. This is again a skinned version of EMUI. Uh, we still have an app drawer. It gives us access to the same thing. We can look into it. We can customize it. We have the Google feed here on the left side that's still present. And you do have the ability of using the non-app version of this, which is what it's by default set up to. Looking over the notification shade, you'll notice that the icons, the placement is pretty much the same. Uh, the difference here mostly is due to the uh, aspect ratio and the PPI on each display. Although dark theme is only present on the P20 Pro as that was available on the EMUI 8.0 build that first came out with this. Looking through the categories, we'll notice that they still have Huawei ID built into it. We have some better categorization as well as the home screen and wallpaper section here that gives you access to the themes, wallpapers, home screen settings, home screen style, lock screen, lock screen gestures, as well as uh, always on display if you want to be able to turn that on. We have the ability of customizing the display, eye comfort, uh, simple mode always on display as we saw before. Uh, more display settings gives us access to the notch ability to basically hide the notch if you don't want it. Full screen display application, of course. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, let's go back here. We'll go under applications. App Twin is installed and is available app uh, gallery assistant as far as default apps as well to be able to change your launcher if you'd like permissions as well as other application options. Uh, the other option here, if we go into battery, this is still present as we had it before. We have the dark interface color, which I have here, and that's how we have that dark theme that's running. And it really utilizes the OLED display that we have here so that it saves power where we have an IPS display here. Now, if we go under the security update, we do see that we have app lock, private space, file safe, all of those things are still present in here. And of course, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll go about the phone, we'll notice that right there, CL CLT L29 EMUI 9.0.0.47, uh, supposedly the next update that comes out of here, we should be able to get the gesture functionality that we've seen on the uh, EMUI 9 on the Mate 10 Pro for the European version. So I'm going to go ahead for you, put a quick video here that was shared to me by a buddy of mine named Michel, uh, just kind of showcasing some of the new gestures. And again, they're a little bit of a mixture between somewhat of like a Xiaomi and an Apple gesture setup on your device. And I'm pretty sure you just pretty much want to see uh, the Easter egg right there just to kind of get all of that set up correctly. So overall, pretty good. Uh, all of the options that we normally had in EMUI 8.2, same thing, badges, all of those things are gonna be running really good. Just nice aesthetical differences. The camera did not get updated. I still have all the functional options that we had before. Uh, I can't compare one to one here with the, uh, with the Honor device as this camera definitely is a beast. As you know, the P20 Pro, one of the best photography camera devices on this market uh, with the triple camera setup in the back. And they did announce three new colors and material uh, for the P20 Pro at IFA. So you may be wondering how I was able to get this thing installed on my device. I used the funky Huawei service and the main benefit there is that they're using authentic beta files from Huawei or even Honor for our devices. So we don't need to root our device. We don't need to unlock the uh, bootloader. And installing these are actually pretty simple. You just have to go into the e-recovery and then flash it over as a normal update that normally comes through the e-recovery for your device. Uh, no wipe was needed and no formatting was needed for me coming from, a, uh, I think it was EMUI 8.2 on the P20 Pro. Uh, so pretty simple. All my information is still there. I didn't lose anything and it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about the EMUI 9 beta here that we have. Uh, and I'll give you guys a link in the description to the funky Huawei service so you can check out to see if your maybe recent Honor device or Huawei device has a beta built. And if you'd like to basically jump and start basically enjoying EMUI 9 uh, on your device. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and see you guys in the next video.